Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you so much for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome playing as a Macadon on the 1.5 Menander update. So in the last episode we finally got our war going against a couple of miners. I'm trying to think here we've got uh, Kizikos, Kios, Bithynia. We had Athens and Byzantium but we occupied them in the previous episode. By the way this reminds me I will get rid of this fort here that I don't need anymore. Um, and we are currently in the process of finishing this war. Once it's over, I'm hoping to get a war going against the Asian Revolt or the Asian Kingdom. Whichever one wins the war, they are both destroying each other to oblivion, which is absolutely fantastic. So in the meantime, we're making claims, hopefully get a couple going and probably try and free the Greek pops that are on the coastline here, which will be absolutely wicked. Uh, but anyway, without any further ado, let's get rolling. Bim, bam, and boom, people. So, boom. So we're currently trying to occupy the war goal. We are trying to wipe out Bithynia as well. Uh, we'll take them out, take the revolt out, and then we'll take out Kios, and we'll just peace out with everybody one by one. Uh, 7,000 men here. You can't cross, dude, because I have occupied your fort. So whatever happens, you're pretty much screwed. Where are you going? Oh, he's going down here. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, what are you trying... Like Oh, no, that's occupied by somebody. So what is this? This is Astakos. Oh, that's not even me, so I'm not even bothered about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I've got, another, I've got a claim on the Asian Kingdom and a claim on the Asian Revolt. Let's make some more claims. I want as many as we can possibly get. Um, what can I make a claim on here? I did miss here, didn't I? Maybe Europa would be nice. Let's make a claim. Get one on Europa here because I want that. I'll also get a claim on the Asian Kingdom. Let's try to get a claim on you as well. Let's see what I can get. Um, we've got Lycia. Ionia that I don't own bits of. Um, God, what do I want to do? What's this? Cilia, what's this one? Cilicia Trachea. Where the hell's that? No idea where that is. Oh, it's down here. I don't want that. Um, let's just do... Is it Lycia? No, let's just do Ionia. There's a little bit we could do with there. Let's just do that as well. I mean, what, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just freaking do it. Um, What now? 49% there. 42% there. Well, then we'll move on to the Rebellion. Oh, and the Siege over here has been won. That's good news. Now let's just move and take over Kios. They want to peace out. No way, because you're the war leader. And I just want to occupy everything you have. And I want to keep the war going and occupy what all your allies have. Uh, Tromic has been besieged, now we'll go on the capital of the Rebellion. And I'll quickly finish off the Rebellion, then we'll take these guys. What do you want? They want first. Rival at court. So lately our Basilus, Econios, the first anti-patriot, has come into conflict with Asheen on the Mastid to every turn decision, their opinions persistently clashing. If one of them says south, the other will probably say north. If one wants to trade with the neighbour, the other will argue for war. Um, I'll have your way. Um, he gains a bit of popularity. I lose some, but we're going to gain popularity back by winning the war anyway. Can you stop occupying my people? Right, that's it. You're dead. I'm going to get the Governor Forster to deal with this guy. Because he's being a bit of a dick. When I say a bit of a dick, he's being a bit of a major dick. So I've caught that 1k stat. I'm going to smash you to pieces. We have another martial advance, which is pretty cool. So that's extra morale for the troops. So I'm liking that a lot. We'll just quickly occupy this stuff back. Thank you. Actually, no, I don't want to occupy it back because we're going to kill the pops. I don't want to kill the pops in there. Vitally important, I don't kill them. No way. We'll occupy this. Oh, have I got that? Oh, have I won that? Since when did I occupy that? I didn't piece them out. Oh, maybe the rebellion won, which means I automatically got that. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Oh, I never, I didn't even notice that. Oh well, we'll just quickly occupy this and um, actually I can get you to blockade this now. Okay, so now I can peace out with this dude. That's pretty damn easy, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a separate war with these guys now. Huh, that's wicked. Uh, we'll separate peace you. Thank you. That's more land. Um, what should I do? What culture are these guys? They are Greek, so I'm going to pass judgment on families. Um, Bithynian people. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. But you're all old. Yeah, you're all old. I'm just going to crucify you. Fuck you. I want the loyalty. I want the popularity, sorry. So that is done. I'm going to keep... I am going to get a suit there as well, actually. Keep the forts there. I don't really need them over here, to be honest. I mean, really. I don't really need them there. Um, this... 
I'm going to keep there for the... I don't need to move anything there at the moment, to be honest. Um, you guys can actually go back over this side. Veterans move on. So I gain 2,000 manpower and Elimia gains state advantage, which gives us extra tax. But we do lose a bit of loyalty for the province. But yeah, whatever. No problem at all. Right, 28%. Come on. Please fall. I really would like it to. Damn, someone died, by the way. The governor of Illyria. I need a new Illyrian governor. You're bad. You do... Oh, negative... Nah, negative... How much? Negative 10% province commerce income. No way. I'm going to put you... No, actually, you're really disloyal. Um, you're a just man. You know what? Shove it. I'm going to give it to this guy. I lose a bit of province commerce, but he's part of a major family. It would appease that family, so... Does that mean why not? Okay, Kios has been won. That's great. Um, let's just peace out. So I can take this, take this. We can take it all. That's pretty good. Getting one aggressive expansion. That's all we get. That's really nice. Um, and we'll just take it all. Thank you. Now that war was pretty quick. Let's pass judgment on the families. Let's pass judgment on the families. I want to see if we can bring anybody, but they're all old. God's sake. Give me some young characters. So I'm going to have to crucify you then. What about you? You're young. Oh, he's the king. Let's bring him in. No, he's not loyal. I'm going to have to kill him. I don't know. I don't want them. They're, they're going to kill them. They're just going to plunge the nation into civil war. We do not want that. Um, here we have this place. And this will now be the de facto capital. Because it has got a port. It is on forest, but it is a, it is a port. What's the migration attraction? Migration attraction 14. And that's 14 without being a capital. So I'm, I'm actually going to move that. Right, let's move it there and let's see what it is now. I think it needs to update at the end of the month. We'll see what happens at the end of the month. We're going to keep the fort there. Keep the fort here. Probably keep a fort on this place as well. I think we should. And I'll keep them in Rebus as well. And I'll keep one in Byzantium. And can I actually do this? No, I can't. I need food though. We need to import some grain. Let's get some grain from Egypt and we'll try and feed. We'll feed uh, Byzantium. Probably get some more food going in. Maybe some spices. No, I can't. Um, let's get some... Let's get some honey. Why not? And then we'll get some papyrus. Why not? Let's just get all that sort of stuff in. It's extra gold in it, so we'll just take that. And I'm really happy with that. So we're going to disembark you guys now. Get you on the boat. Don't need to keep you over there. And then we're going to get ready for the next war. Which will be... Against... Whoever wins the revolt. How much food have we got here? We've got quite a bit. I'm going to try and bring in some more food. Just because we can. And try to feed the pots as much as we can. How much food do we have here? 11. Not enough. I'll keep one over. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to keep the armies over on this side. And I might actually increase the size. I think we're definitely going to increase the size. Um, so you're going to stay... You're going to stay here. You guys are going to go to Byzant. You guys are going to go... So there, I'll just march you across, and I'm going to keep these this navy. We'll keep them docked at the, at the port of Dazant. Keep it all down there. I do have a little bit of a uh, little bit of gold, and a little bit of political influence. I would like to spend some. Oh, excuse me, I have got a Skype call. Damn, 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 damn. I do apologise. Um, Jai Maxim, uh, the the kills me. De quoi J'arrive, donne-moi 15 minutes, Val, j'ai pas terminé. Ouais, ça marche. Ouais, ça marche, je te, je te rappelle, 15 minutes. Uh, sorry about that, people. <laughs> got a French mate calling me on uh, Skype, trying to get me to play Football Manager. So, I'm um, probably going to go and play Football Manager once I've done this video, but I need to get this video done first. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, let's keep rolling. Bim, bam, boom. So, you're in Byzant. Drill, thank you. You guys are going to go over to Alea there. Is it Alea? It's Alea. Off you go. A liar, a liar. Whoa, I have a lot of disloyal people here. Why? Who are you? You're the Epistrategos. Tribe, go away. You are the Hierophant. God's sake. Tribe, you. I need to bribe a lot of people here. Who are you? You're the head of the Polyperkid family. Are you kidding me? I'm going to grant you a small holding. I should keep you happy. Um, who are you? You're the Arshatros. Yeah, I'm going to bribe you. I don't want any issues with them all. No way. Um, oh, you finished a road. Oh, wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Well, you're going to go to Athens then and uh, govern the region of Greece. Why not? 
I could get some more cities going. I did say I might want to get in the city somewhere. Not over this side. I reckon we could get one. I reckon we could get one here. We make more than enough food. And there is a port there. So I reckon we can definitely go for one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. And I could make it the capital of the area because it's got a port and it would be a really nice city. So I think that's a good thing to do. So that's done. Thank you. Bim Bamboo. Now the Navy's going to go here. They have more ships than I do now. I probably should do something. What do I want to do? Don't want more ships? Can I afford more ships? I can afford more ships. So let's get maybe... What are these? These are Tetrias. So we'll go for one, two, three, four, five. And then I go for one, two, three. Ah, oh, damn. Don't have enough gold. One. How many hexes? That's three. That's two. And that's three. And that's four. And then at the end of the month, we can get another one. And then we'll get the fifth one. Thank you very much. Bing, bang, and boom. So, right, let's speed things up now. Now, all we need to do is wait for the damn Asian revolt to actually finish. Um, Democrati Sotin had died of severe inflammation. Our son is still dying, and hopefully he will die. Because I do want this daughter to be the head of the thing, or the head of the state. Because her child does have the blood of Seleucos mixed in with them. And when is this revolt going to finish? Please finish, please. Oh, this is good. Um, extra orchard advances. Diplo relations plus one we could get if we unlock it, which would be really nice. But I don't really need it at the moment. Um, civic advances, no national tax plus 5% liturgies. I want pop migration speed as well. All oh, that is really nice stuff. The Asian Kingdom wants an alliance, but that is not going to happen. You guys can you guys can duke it out to the very end. I have a claim on Ionia, so I've got a load of, all, a load of other claims. Let's get another one going. Let's um, fabricate a claim on you. What do I want now? What's this? Mizia Abatine. Do I have one of them? No, I don't, which I do now. Thank you. I claim on that. Autonomy. So the industrious folk of Naxos have excelled themselves, contributing their own personal funds to develop the infrastructure of the fine city. Uh, to get a granary. Yeah, why not? Free granary. No reason not to. Let's go for the research points here. Again, extra tech. Oh, religious advances again now. Province loyalty one's pretty good. Cool. Unintegrated culture group happiness plus three. That is nice. That is really nice, actually. And I do want some of that. Um, you guys are going to drill because I can afford it now. And you guys are also going to drill. Actually, no, you need to go on. Assign it to the governor. Now you're going to drill. We need a Philosophos. I'm going to put this on a master here. He's nearly as good as the best guy. He's very loyal, so off you go. Got a couple of food issues somewhere. Oh, God, we've got no food down here. I need grain. Get a double set of grain here. Get it from maybe Atolia will bring it down there. That's fine. Now we should have enough food. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got more than enough food. We have 100 ships here. I think we have better quality than everyone else, which is pretty cool. What do I go? Lose 18 gold, gain 6 stability, and gain release tech investment plus 5%. That is a great trade-off. I'll happily do that. Can we change any laws now? No, I don't have the political influence, do I? But can I get my leader to prove legitimacy? I can. Let's do it. We need more... We need more uh, political influence. Oh, for God's sake, I just traded. Are you kidding me? Right, let's get some fish instead, then. There we go. I hate it when you do a trade route, and then all of a sudden it automatically goes away again. It's a bit of a pain. Um, Byzanth can stay. Yeah, this is going to stay the capital. We do have Byzantium now. That is really cool. Can I get rid of some of the buildings that we don't need? Maybe the foundry. Get rid of that foundry. We don't really need that. But over here. The slave. Yeah, let's keep the mill. Why not? I'm not going to really touch the buildings at the moment. I might do a bit of a kind of building spree when we actually get the massive gold infrastructure going. Because at the moment we're making 21. It's not bad. I want more. Uh, I really want more. A lot more. So hopefully we can get that. And then once we get a lot of gold, I'll start doing a massive, massive infrastructure projects. Um, you guys are drilling, aren't you? You are. Coming to the city of Norpactos. So that's down here. And this is going to be changed to the province capital. And I am going to get a fort on it, because it does control the passage, which is vital. So we'll put that on there, and we have the gold to do it anyway. Whoa, what's all this? We have a lot of disloyal people here. 
Let's do this event first. Disagreement on the highest level. Uh, Perisades, Polyperkid, a man of sound reputation, and Hyperides, on a mastered and nobleman of great virtue, has recently started to spar furiously while attending the court. Who do I side with? You, the brother of the Arsenal Matophylax, or the general? I'm siding with the general. And now we need to see who's disloyal. Who are you? You're the researcher. I'm going to grant you a holding. I can't grant you a holding. I'm not going to bribe you, whatever. Who are you? You're the Epistrategos. And I can't grant you a holding either. Okay. You're the researcher. I can't grant you a holding. Oh, so I only have two people. Oh, it's only two people. I thought it was more. That scared me because looks I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, it says, but that's good. That scared me. They must be minor characters that are disloyal as well, and it must they must not count to towards disloyal characters because they're not really that important. Oh for God's sake, I just imported the fish for Christ almighty. Get it from you guys instead. Jesus Christ. When you import something, it doesn't last very long, does it? I've got a Cassus Belly on the Asian Revolt. I want to cast a Belly on the Asian Kingdom as well. Mizia, Abertine, we'll get one of them as well. Let's get multiple claims. I don't know which one's going to win. It looks like it's going to be the Asian Kingdom. But then again, I will be able to pull the Seleucids in with us once the revolt's finished. And once it's finished, we are so going to smash them. Um, let's get some tech. I do want liturgies here. I want the national tax. Definitely. Going to help us a little bit with cash-wise. We'll hold the 146th Olympiad as well. It's really useful holding the Olympics. The site for the Olympics is so good. It just gives you a nice bonus with every Hellenic nation. Egypt are... Not fighting anyone. Lehan are fighting though. Tamud and Katabra. They're still independent. So we freed them and they're still there. This guy won the Olympics and he is a beast. He's a Sicilian. 8, 9, 11, 5. Wow. And it looks like the Asian Kingdom is going to actually pull this off. Which is a miracle. A scandal is unfortunately a part of every of the everyday in Macedonian court. Ordinarily, we'll simply ignore such petty squabbles. However, this guy's been cheating on his wife with this old woman. And what should I do? I can have him flogged. Who's men on Antipatrid? Oh no, he's Yarshiatros. Yeah, I can get rid of his position in government. That's fine. And I'll put someone else. Like you, you like you, maybe. Actually, you, you're really loyal. We'll put you. Where's our boy, by the way? Oh, he's so dead. He's like really dead. Like incredibly dead. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Hopefully he dies before our king does because I don't want our king to die. And then of course we get the other young guy who's dying on the throne. Then he dies. That means we lose double the amount of stability. And it's not something I want to do. Um, oh, we lost an Arshatros again. Oh, it was our son. Was it our son? I'll put you instead. Was it the was it the boy? It was. So why is the other primary heir you? I need to change laws. Anatic cognatic. We need political influence. This um, allow female. Yeah, we'll go for anatic cognatic. We'll get the little bit of political influence required. Another couple of months and I think we should be fine. I need to get wine now. I don't have any more wine here, for God's sake. Let's get the surplus of wine. Because it does reduce the army maintenance cost. I'm pretty sure it does. It does, yeah. So get it from you guys. Come on. Need a little bit more, people. A little bit more. So we can actually, next month, we should be golden. There we go. So, let's do this. Agnatic, cognatic... It allows females to inherit. Yeah, it's got to be that. So we'll do that. And now it should be... There we go. Now she's the primary heir, and which means her children will then be in line for the throne. So that is really, really good. And that means you can actually get some bloodlands going, and I'm liking that. All we need is this damn poxy water finish, and then we can actually move on and do things. Um, could I go against Istros at the moment? I mean, I could take them both on. I don't really want to take them both on, honestly. Do I want to take them both on? Not really. I really want to wait for whoever wins the war. 
Anyway, denied legitimacy, word has reached us that her messianic Antipatrid has been spreading dangerous rhetoric that calls into question a Konyos the first Antipatrid's right to rule, challenging a Konyos Antipatrid on the grounds of birth, efficiency, and morality. I can lose 20 legitimacy, whatever. I have more than enough damn legitimacy to kind of deal with you guys. Now what do I want? Investment siege ability, could be pretty cool. Diplo relations, unintegrated culture happiness, province loyalty is pretty nice. Let's have a look at our province loyalties. They're all going up pretty well, apart from down here. Um, why are you pissed? I think it's because there's a lot of unrest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do reduced governorship, which gets the province loyalty up a little bit. What region is this? This is two separate regions. One's Thrace and one's Bithynia. I could make a small governor force. And I think I might actually. I'm going to get a little bit more gold and then I'm going to make a tiny governor force for each side just to kind of keep the regions down and kind of keep it in check. Okay, so now looks like the civil war is finished. This is great. Civil war's come to an end. Which means, you know what it means now. Oh, it means we screw these guys to the very end. He's got no manpower. He's got a few allies. He could actually bring in Getya. That's quite worrisome. That is really quite worrisome. What if I was to just declare... Bring in a lot of people. I'm not going to do it that way. We're going we're gonna to declare on Istros. And this brings in only a few people. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. Okay. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to get you guys over this side. Um, actually, actually, no. I'm going to put you guys on the navy. Or do I want... You know what? I'm going to get more ships. I want more ships. I want to make sure we have total dominance. So, let's get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 extra Liburnians. And I'm going to get a little bit more gold. And then we'll get 5 extra Tetrias. I think. Let's get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we need one more month. That's five. Okay, that's more than enough for the ships. I'm going to get you guys. I'm going to pop you over here. Okay, we'll dock you there. You guys are going to go and hide over here. I don't want you... You're going to hide on the island. I really don't want you guys to be in the middle of the fight. You fellas are going to come over this side here. And I want to wipe out, occupy all their land here. Just so I can wipe these guys out the wall. I don't want Istros having any land to attack us from the rear, so we're going to have to take care of these guys pretty damn quickly. Once we take care of them, we can then move all, the, all of our attentions over to the Asian Kingdom, but we need to do it quickly. I don't want them gaining any manpower. So yeah, we really need to move as quickly as possible. Once we get the navy up to scratch, get a couple of extra units in there, we should be good. And we're going to move over here. This navy is going to go over here now. Hopefully we can block some... Yeah, we really need to beat them. So I'm going to go over here, try and block the strait with the navies. You can trade, no problem. Trade influx. Let's uh, get a freeman. Yeah, let's get a freeman moving in there. That's fine. And we'll get you guys on drill. I'll also get you guys on drill. I want as much military experience as possible. Um, oh, well, rule against Montagra. Here I want another supply train, definitely. And I want some more heavy cav. Six, seven, eight. Three more heavy cab units. Um, same goes for you. Another supply train. And one, two, three more heavy cab units. Don't need more light, light cab units, really. Flanking's five units on the flank is more than enough for the moment. I just want more units, more heavy cab. Need new trophies. That's great. Koinos eliminated. However, have a potential civil war. Why? Because the Arsh, Grammatus, and this... What? We have a lot of people that are pretty pissed. Well, let's bribe you. Oh, the governor of Greece. I bribe, that's it. I solved the problem. It's the governor of Greece who's a bit of being a bit of a dick. Hopefully, I can befriend him with the next ruler. We'll see if we can. No, sorry, Asian Kingdom. Not going to happen. Really not going to happen. And I want to smash you to smithereens, my boy. And you are so going to take a beating. And it's going to be a massive beating at that. Um, the navy is reinforced. Oh, I can actually do the war now. And we can smash his navy. However, he has a lot of, he has a lot of better units. This is risky. He has better quality ships. 
Well, he has a few better quality ones, but you know what? We're going to put you in Byzanth, actually. I really don't want to. I can actually cross the strait anyway. So it's not really... The, the navy's not really needed. It's too risky. I, I really don't want to risk it. It's something not something I'm, I'm willing to take. Um, and I think we can go now. Let's go. Let's declare the war. And I don't want military access. Let's declare the war. I could take Rodope or Heimimontus. It's got to be Rodope, hasn't it? I could bring the Seleucids in as well, so now it's time to go. And more than enough gold. We have a lot of military experience, which gives us a nice morale boost. So, I think the time is now. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm no longer importing stuff, but that's whatever. Probably go for some spices, if possible. I can. Get National Citizen out, but plus 3%. Thank you. Have some of that. And uh, now we uh, completely smash everything and everyone in the vicinity. Um, so, we are now going to occupy everything we can occupy over on this side and then I can use the forces to go and occupy and uh, start then the war on the other side okay so he is running away but that's fine whatever pirates have plundered stuff yeah blah 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 take over this here I need to take over this as well don't I is that part of it is or have I occupied that no I haven't there's a fort there so we need to go and occupy that a we informed that Olympiador Santipatrid was found brutally murdered. Okay, you were the member of the Antipatrid family. But you weren't very important, so whatever. I'm just going to lose a bit of popularity here. Let's go for... What do I want? Probably manpower recovery speed. Yeah, I'm going to go for a bit of manpower recovery speed here because we are going to lose some men. Need new Epiproxenos. Put the best man for the job, which is you. Thank you very much, you kind sir. Okay, let's go and deal with this guy trying to siege it from this side here. It is not going to work, my friend. I am going to catch you. You cannot flee. But whatever happens, you're dead. Thank you. Now we're going to go and take care of the fort over here. This fort is being taken care of. Moesia, can I have access for you guys? Would you Would you give me access? Oh, you would if I sent you a gift. Oh, we're so close. Negative 1%. Um, I'm not replacing the stockpile. The governor can replace the cost. No, I'll lose political influence and lose some manpower. That's fine. I am going to improve opinion, though, with Moesha on the 3rd of November. I need to remember to do that. Okay, let's improve opinion. Because I want military access so I can go and finish them off. So I can finish these guys off. Um, what's going on here? You're going over there. That's fine. The Seleucids have joined in. Yeah, the Seleucids have joined. This is the end of the line. We can do real, real big damage now to the Asian Kingdom and hopefully really, really hurt them. I'll accept that offer. Come on, let's go. Go, let's go, let's go. 21%, 35%, 64% now. That's been taken care of. We'll go over there now. And wow, that was quick. Jesus, that was really quick. So let's go and occupy this. I have access. Oh no, I don't have access, but now I do. I have military access with you. We'll hold the games. Just occupy everything that Istros has so they cannot free anything. I don't want them to have any land available to piss me off. And attack my rear. Hermesianax Antipatrid. He wants a position. Yeah, fuck you, mate. I ain't giving you anything. You're so disloyal that it's so not worth giving you anything at all. Um, you're going to go here. Occupy this. And then we'll move and try and occupy this island. There we go. Down you go. Let's finish off with you. And then we shall strike the heart of the Asian Kingdom. 7%, 21%. It's all going very quickly. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, a bountiful harvest. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, 13 master ability. This guy's a beast. A Condosium Miner. Fair enough. Um, let's, get the inv let's get investment. I like investment. It gives you extra siege ability. Let's also go for something else, maybe. Unintegrated culture happiness. That is going to be pretty useful. Let's have some of that. Oh, our guy gains dementia now. He's dying at a very quick, weight, uh, quick, quick rate now. 2% per month. Wow, he's going to be dead before... Well, he's going to be dead before he fucking realizes it. Abrian Civil War ends. That is not our problem. Unfulfilled promises. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you, mate. I don't care. I really don't care what you think. Um, let's just go and occupy all the land up north now. Again, this guy is not going to have any land to recruit any men with. Our forts over this side is really stopping the enemy moving around, which is really good. And we're going to now move to this city here, then we'll just occupy this fort, and then that fort, and then we're golden. So off we go. Bam, boom. 
Again, I'm playing on speed 5 at the moment because nothing much is going on and they're not offering any resistance at all. And we can just carve up their whole land. I think they're fighting most of the battles over by the Seleucid side. And time and devotion, free stability, thank you. Have some of that. Where are we starving? Are you starving? Why are you starving? Well, it won't be once we take all of the land in Europa here. I think it's the region of... Is it Europa? It is Europa. Or is it... Oh, it's Rodope. So once we take all the land in Rodope, they won't be starving anymore. Uh, the neglected, so utterly tired of waiting for his provid ruling government, her messianic antipatriot has begun... Excuse me, quietly whispering in the ear of one of our closest confidants. Uh, you bastard. If someone loses... Ah, oh, but he's so loyal, it doesn't really hurt anything. And the other guy is disloyal. I might actually imprison the guy at some point. If I could bring him to trial. Let's find him. Where are you? Um, I want to sort you by loyalty. I know there's a one guy who has zero. I think it's you. Can I do anything? Can I like bring you to trial? I can't. Oh well. It is what it is. We'll deal with him after the war. Sack of the Demeter Shrine. Who sacked it? Score this here. You bastard. I remember this crime. How dare you. How dare you sack our deities. Okay, that's been occupied. Pretty good. Now let's march over here and just take everything we want. I have claims all over the place. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of them. Where are our claims? Where are my claims? Um, we have Cassus Belly. How do I see my claims? Um... Is this the claim I have? Are there capitals? Okay, why can't I see my claims? I want to see what claims I've got. Um, no, let's go to diplomacy. Oh, well. Well, I know I've got a few claims. So it shouldn't cost us that much. 42% up here. Wow, that was quick. And then we're going to go and take that for... Are you disloyal or something? Is that what's happening? Oh, fucking hell, you are. I've got to bribe you. have got to get you back under our command. But he was doing the right thing. You moved into the right area. Let's go and take... Yeah, let's go and take this fort here now. Who else am I at war with? I'm at war with everybody here. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. We can even take Ionia. Yep, I'm liking this. This is what's going to happen. Alright, let's quickly take this here, and then I'll go and destroy that 8k stack. He's pretty much stuck. He can't move anywhere, because that fort's blocking movement. He has no access with his neighbours. So, whatever happens, he's pretty much dead. Now we're going to go and deal with him there. Just check down here, 7% there. It's pretty good. So he's been smashed to smithereens. He can't retreat anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Can I have access with you? No, I can't. That's a shame. Um, oh well, let's just occupy everything. Whatever. Wow. That siege was quick. Um, that's been occupied. Let's go down to Ephesus now. Let's go and do. Let's go and take that over. And um, we're going to deal with you. Again, I really just want to occupy everything. Hopefully, the guy will come back and I can stack wipe him. Deal with you, and that is occupied. All is well, all is good, and I am going to end the episode here, people. And in the next one, we shall continue the war. We shall try to take as much land as possible. I want to get all the land along the coastline, would be fantastic. If I can get road as well, I don't know, oh they're not at war with us, but if I can get all the land on the coast and probably fill in the blanks here, this province, this bit here, and some of this, I would be really chuffed. But anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, all also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.